Okay, the next creation we're going to make is going to be to edit audio. You can use the edit, edit audio app to create podcasts, news reports, or just to put your music together with some effects. Okay, so now we're in the audio, audio editor. There's a few things you can do. The first one, and Quantum Tracks here, you have to agree to the terms. It is music, I mean, you can go and read the terms of service and whatnot. It is um, music that you can use in your creation, so I'm going to agree to my terms. Open them up. And this is really nice because it gives you a bunch of different types of music. You'll see here, um, even electronic, there's CD styles. Corporate, I don't know, dance music. And the nice thing is, is that for each one, it gives you intros, loops, and ends. This is really nice because the intros are something that you could use as a beginning to a podcast or an introduction. I'm going to try and find something a little bit more. Let's go back up here. I'm going to go to Adventures Beyond. And let's go to Adventures. Oh, Adventurous sounds exciting. And I'm going to try this intro. Okay, well I kind of like that intro, so I'm going to drag it and drop it to the beginning. And then loops are things that go in the middle. Maybe a background or something like that. So let's take a listen. Not bad, so I'm going to go for that one. Put that next. Okay, now I'm going to go to the right one of it. Well, that's pretty long. I think what I'm going to do is trim the end, make that a lot shorter. Scroll back a bit. Yeah, I'm going to make that a little shorter still. There we go. And now listen to the different ends for this one. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, and then I'm going to trim that as well. And so now, if I want to put my cursor at the beginning, here's the, the playhead or where it is to play. And if I want to play it, I hit the green triangle. So because I trimmed it, it's a little bit awkward there. I would probably spend some time and fix that if I was so inclined, but I'm not at the moment. So I'm going to leave it there. But other things that I could do, so that was the Quantum Traps tracks, and they're really nice as a background. The Rock Beats. So here's the kicker for this. These are The Rock Beats are, is music like we just created using the Music Creator. So ideally, you're able to import the music that you've created right in here and put it into this aviary and you could use it as background music or as an intro for a podcast or something of the sort if you wanted. But right now, I, I've spoken with the people at aviary, there's a bit of a bug in the system and so you can't actually see your own rock beats there. So this isn't going to work for now because even if you look through all these, they're just other people's uh, rock beats. They're not hours from the education classroom. Hopefully this will get fixed eventually, but in the meantime, if you wanted to, you can import it separately and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you can have your aviary, other, other people's aviary, or your aviary stuff that you've saved here. I don't have anything. And then here's SoundCloud. And SoundCloud has music that people have shared. Let's let it load up. There we go. So the one thing about SoundCloud, and you have the options of making this not available in your settings in your classroom. Sometimes it's potent possibly that there's inappropriate stuff here. I don't see anything at the moment overly inappropriate that's uh, standing out, but there is all sorts of different stuff here. And if you wanted that, you would just drag it up and drop it as well.
Okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to the quantum tracks, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to scroll down, and you can see that there's more tracks. So that up above here is track one. That's a track that I filled. There's another track, track two, track three, and track four. I'm going to go up, and if you want to, um, and if I want to record to add your voice now, then you can hit record. Okay, so I'm going to allow it to have access to my microphone. I can set my volume. I can see that it's showing up. I'm using my built-in microphone. If you're using a headset, you could choose your headset from there. This, I would check off if I wanted it to play the other tracks while I was recording so that I could hear what was going on. Welcome to OTF Demo Podcast. Okay, and I can hit the green triangle to play it and see what it sounds like. Welcome to OTF Demo Podcast. Okay, pause Welcome. that. Now I'll import that to the project. And I'm going to name that OTF Welcome to Demo Podcast. Okay, so here's that recording, voice recording right here. Now one trick is, if I don't want the library to show up down here, I can just hit library and that will disappear. And so now I'm going to drag this over into track 2. I think we'll put it right about there. Okay, so there's that clip. One other thing to show you is that if I don't want these imported files, so the imported files are all the files I brought in. So I've got my intro, my loop, and my end, and then my recording. So all those files are here. But if I don't want this file list to show up, I can just click on that button right there and that will hide. So open it, close it. Okay, so now I can bring this back to here and play the whole thing. Okay, so now my voice in comparison to that sound was ridiculously low. So if I notice here, I'm already at the up the highest volume for this track. So what I'm going to do, and then my voice really isn't going to be recorded very well because I was just using my um, the microphone on my computer. But in this case, we'll bring the volume for that right down, and we'll try that again. Bring that back to the beginning, and play. Well, now you can barely hear that. But there you go, at least you can hear my voice now. So I would play around and do some edits in there. And you can trim the starts, you can edit the ends of them. This allows me to go right back to the beginning or to the end. Okay, back to the beginning. I can scroll this way. If I want to see my timeline, which is this part here, this is all the timeline. If I want to see it more condensed, I can do it this way or spread it out more. Okay, and I should save my recording every once in a while. Okay, so that's saving for me. So once you've saved it, it asks you to mix down. Now the mix down is what allows you to have it show up as a little player in your creation. So I'm going to mix it down now. Okay, so this looks very similar to the rock editor page. Now that it's been mixed down, I can listen to it here. Welcome. Or I can download it as an MP3 or wave. I can copy the, the link to share with somebody. Or I can go back and continue working on my creation. So if I go back to my creation. Okay. So one other thing you can do is you can go to the file, import audio. And you can bring in any, any audio you have on your computer. So this is talking to you about the fact that it's not designed for really big, long, involved pieces of, of sound. This is a web-based tool, so just bring in short clips. And it, you can choose the file from your computer and just pull in 
any music file that you you want. And then your imported file will also show up in your imported list here, and you can just drag and drop it over too and trim it and cut it up as you need. But you could bring in different files into different tracks, and you can mute them if you want them for certain portions and do it that way, and then save and mix down. And once you're finished, you can close this, and your stream will show up, or your new creation will show up right here. And again, I can embed it, edit it, or download it.